Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for the weekend of September 19th, 20th, and 21st, 2014. I am astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. What's going on everybody? If you're in Chicago on Saturday, make sure you check me out. I would love to see you live and in person. You can get tickets now at leokingevents.com. And this weekend, pretty chill weekend. I'm gonna be honest with you, because if you look at the next couple weeks, and more importantly, what's coming up is eclipse season. And so this is the preparations for us of stepping into some big eclipses that are gonna happen. And that's usually when things either really hit the fan, or more importantly, they open up and destiny changes your life forever. Always through the eclipses, it always happens. But this is a time for us to get ready. The planet Pluto is about to come direct on Monday the 22nd, which is huge because it's the planet of exposing, change. And in my opinion, Pluto is one of the best transits to happen when it moves either direct or goes retrograde. The reason why I say this is, this is a time of big changes coming in our life. This is a time of really changing the structure of our lives. And if we look at the weekend's preparation to this, we've got the moon in Leo gonna hump over Jupiter on Friday. A lot of positive energy, a lot of good emotion, a lot of excitement brewing. The moon's gonna tap into this Jupiter and Uranus trine, which in my opinion is really gonna light everybody up. All the new opportunities, all the new electricity in our lives, there's these new things happening. There's new perceptions that we're having. There's new doors opening. There's new beliefs that we're stepping into. That moon will tap into the square to Saturn and Scorpio, which there's a reminder of the restrictions to life still. There's a reminder of making sure that you're really looking at the decisions you make very carefully, that you do not just radically jump into things without the proper sense in knowing if it's based off your truth or really making the decisions that affect your life to really advance forward correctly. This is a time in our life, especially because Pluto is in Capricorn, of really learning to advance to your highest goal. The other aspect of this is learning to reinvent or change the way that we do go about our destinies. That there has to be truth, that it has to be aligned with, with this new bold way of becoming who you are. And we're in Virgo, and this is gonna be the last weekend of Virgo. This is about becoming into your reality correctly, feeling every nook and cranny of your life, getting it together, and healing yourself. Venus as well coming into a really nice position as it's still in Virgo and it's gonna sextile over to Saturn and Scorpio. So there's a lot of stability. There's a lot of great things that I think are coming together for us this weekend. Just out of nowhere too. One thing about a Jupiter Uranus trine is what? This came out of nowhere. And I feel like you're gonna see this weekend this feeling that pulls you out of just the most highest place that you can be. But with some reminders around to make sure that you, you get excited with a realistic sense, that you don't overdo it, that you don't get too excited to where you overinflate and are left with nothing at the end. And the moon will come into Virgo. It's gonna come in, I think, late Saturday into Sunday. And this is preparing for this dark moon cycle as we're gonna have a new moon in Libra coming up here next week. So the moon and the sun are gonna do some very weird things. And usually when I see this stuff happen, Last time I seen this kind of crazy, weird sun, moon following was uh, in 2012, May of 2012, when we had some big eclipses then. So, this is the universe really aligning things very uniquely this weekend to empower your happiness, to find your heart, and to really make the last adjustments you need because these next couple weeks begin a big eclipse season of a powerful October that's gonna change people's lives, especially with the Mercury retrograde coming. So you have to see as we're, we're rounding up the ending of September here, there's a beautiful vision for us all that we must encapsulate with, that we must take with us into the storm or into the battle or into the beauty of what's coming. But there are gonna be some major tests for us all of how bold we are of finding balance, which is not easy to be bold and find balance at the same time. It's not easy to be wanting something and having a relationship. There's, there's needs to really stretch ourselves 
in all these new positions and learn to channel ourselves and not get lost. Neptune is in Pisces. We haven't been talking about it a lot because Neptune is really teaching us to channel and learn to follow our gut that we know what's going to happen before it's going to happen and there's a need for you to really know how to tune into that while applying everything I just talked about. So go and have the great weekend. I think that relationships this weekend explode. I think there's powerful new doors opening. And if it's based off your truth, you can really hit a home run. But remember that there's a grand slam coming here in the next four weeks of our life. And it really is starting to get ramped up. So realize that these are just the doors opening to the perceptions of where things are going that are really gonna excite you. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for following me. And I can't wait to talk to you guys when I come back on Monday next week. See you then.